God prosper long, our noble king, our lives and safeties all. A woeful hunting once they did, on Chevy Chase before. To drive the deer with hound and horn, Earl Percy took his way. The child may rue that is unborn. The hunted of the day. The stout Earl of Northumberland a vow to God did make his pleasure in the Scottish woods three summer's days to take. The chiefest hearts in Chevy Chase to kill and bear away. These tidings to Earl Douglas came in Scotland where he lay. Who sent Earl Percy present word he would prevent his sport. The English Earl, not fearing that, did to the woods resort. With fifteen hundred bowmen bold, all chosen men of might, who knew full well in time of need to aim their shafts aright. The gallant greyhound swiftly ran to chase the fallow deer. On Monday they began to hunt. Ere daylight did appear. And long before high noon they had An hundred fat bucks slain. Then having dined, the drivers went To rouse the deer again. Lord Percy to the quarry went To view the slaughtered deer. Quoth he, Earl Douglas promised this day to meet me here. But if I thought he would not come, no longer would I stay with that a brave young gentleman thus to the Earl did say. Lo, yonder doth Earl Douglas come, his men in armour bright, full twenty hundred Scottish spears, all marching in our sight. Show me, said he, whose men you be, that hunt so boldly here, that without my consent to chase, and kill my fellow dear. The first man that did answer make was noble Percy P, who said we list not to declare, nor show whose men we be. Yet we will spend our dearest blood, thy chiefest hearts to slay. Then Douglas swore a solemn oath, and thus in rage did say, Ere thus I will outbraved be, one of us two shall die. I know thee well, an earl thou art, Lord Percy. So am I. Our English archers bent their bows, Their hearts were good and true. At the first flight of arrows sent, Full fourscore Scots they slew. At last these two stout earls did meet, Like captains of great might. Like lions would they laid on load, And made a cruel fight. They fought until they both did sweat, With swords of tempered steel, 
Until the blood, like drops of rain, They trickling down did feel. O oh, yield thee, Percy, Douglas said, In faith I will thee bring, Where thou shalt high advanced be, By James, our Scottish king. Thy ransom I will freely give, And this report of thee, Thou art the most courageous knight That ever I did see. No, Douglas, quoth Earl Percy then, Thy proffer I do scorn, I will not yield to any Scot, that ever yet was born. With that there came an arrow keen out of an English bow, which struck Earl Douglas to the heart, a deep and deadly blow. Who never spake more words than these, fight on my merry men all, for why my life is at an end, Lord Percy sees my fall. Then leaving life, Earl Percy took the dead man by the hand, And said, Earl Douglas, for thy life, would I had lost my land. O oh Christ, my very heart doth bleed With sorrow for thy sake. For sure a more redoubted knight Mischance could never take. A knight among the Scots there was Who saw Earl Douglas die, Who straight in wrath did vow revenge Upon the Lord Percy, Sir Hugh Montgomery was he called, Who with a spear full bright, Well mounted on a gallant steed, Ran fiercely through the fight. And past the English archers all, Without all dread or fear, And through Earl Percy's body then, He thrust his hateful spear. This fight did last from break of day Till setting of the sun, For when they rang the evening bell, the battle scarce was done. And the Lord Maxwell in like case Did with Earl Douglas die Of twenty hundred Scottish spears Scarce fifty-five did fly. Of fifteen hundred English men Went home but fifty-three, The rest were slain in Chevy Chase, Under the greenwood tree. Next day did many widows come, Their husbands to bewail, They washed their wounds in brinish tears, but all would not prevail. Their bodies bathed in purple gore, They bore with them away, They kissed their dead a thousand times, When they were clad in clay. God save our King, and bless this land with plenty, joy, and peace, and grant henceforth that foul debate twixt noble men may cease.